by Libra. This is going to be your reading for November 2020. We will see what's going on with you, your recent past, near future, okay, and current energy. Now remember guys, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate. If they don't, please don't try to make them fit. Check your other placements, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And let's get into it. Let's see what I have for Libra. Okay. Five of Cups in reverse just fell out. Okay. Good energy in your recent past. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Mm. Nine of Cups. Okay. Decisions, Libra. Some sort of decisions. Some self-deception surrounding your situation. Let's clarify these cards first. Okay. Mm, two of Cups in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse. So in your recent past is what I'm seeing. The Five of Cups in reverse is... Um, you're no longer focused on someone who broke your trust. You're no longer focused on the spilled milk, you know. Anything that was in the past, you're, you've been working. That's your recent past. So you've been working on leaving it behind, leaving it in the past, not bringing it into your current energy, trying to, you know, not focus on the past so you can focus more and enjoy more of what you have in the present um two of cups in reverse though i feel like there was some sort of partnership or some sort of uh, mistrust that happened someone could have broken your trust okay and you probably had to walk away i feel like you know this could have been a long-term relationship families could have been involved in this connection okay something that you walked away from that you thought had that long-term potential but it didn't have um i however feel like it's i think it happened like five months ago or ten months ago but i have like i think it's five five months ago i would say um this isn't something that happened recently but i feel like you have just recently learned how to not focus on it anymore five of pentacles in reverse in your current energy let's clarify that so in your past basically what i see is your learning to not focus on whatever issues you had in the past you're trying not to bring those issues into your present you're trying to heal from those past wounds okay four of pentacles in reverse interesting two of swords in reverse hmm okay so you're in your current energy i get the five of pentacles in reverse which is you know you're not really feeling left out in the cold anymore um, you might have been feeling that uh, someone that you're with, okay, could be your friends, could be your partner. Okay, please take it as it resonates because this is a general reading. I feel that this would resonate with everyone differently. Um, also, feel free to reverse the roles if you need to. I feel that you felt like someone was leaving you out in the cold. Someone was being really defensive. Um, but those defenses have come down. You don't feel that way anymore okay um you don't feel like uh, left out in the cold anymore you are also focusing a lot on yourself in the month of november you're really focused on what makes you happy what brings you happiness okay uh, nine of cups is also wish fulfillment so if there was something that you've been wishing for perhaps you had been wishing for um, someone to not be so defensive with you anymore and they're not being that way anymore so that could be the wish fulfillment okay the two of swords in reverse shows that you know um, like not making big hasty decisions anymore really coming from what makes you happy okay you're really focused on what serves you best okay and you're not really you're i feel like you know i don't know why i get this energy but it's like trying to stay away from negative thinking okay i feel that you have really learned not to let the past mistakes past issues influence your present anymore you're trying to take power away from those issues now and uh, this could be you this could be you opening up to your partner to your friends you know um, being less cold or being less detached sharing more trying to be trying to be more affectionate more loving towards the people around you 
and uh, I feel like in the past, you know, after this issue might have happened, you could have been in that energy where you didn't want to open up to anyone properly, but I feel that your defenses are coming down and that's very good. Uh, in your current energy, I feel like you're very just focused on yourself. You're really focused on what makes you happy, okay, what brings you more abundance, what brings you closer to your wish fulfillment, whatever it is that you want for yourself. The two of pentacles in reverse, let's clarify that. Page of cups, there could have been an apology, okay. Uh, two of pentacles in reverse is, you know, um, no longer juggling. It's a good balance, I feel you're really balanced. I, I don't know why I feel like it was someone else's apology or something someone said that has brought you in this calm, confident energy, okay? Um, but I feel like even though it looks like you're trying not to let other things influence you, there was an outside influence here. Um, an apology from someone, okay, or could just be an offer of emotions. I feel like someone opened up to you, Um page of cups we've got two pages here it could be a younger person okay um you could be younger than them or they could be younger than you i'm reading from your point of view but i feel like you know that someone offered you openness okay someone offered you emotions someone that you felt was cold okay you felt left out in the cold by this person you felt like they were being defensive so you went into this energy on focusing on yourself, paying more attention to your thoughts, okay, not letting your past bring those negative thoughts into your present. And then someone opened up to you. Someone actually showed you that your positive thinking does really have an effect on your reality, on how you feel about yourself, your relationships, about your surroundings. And that's why you're having a you're not having a hard time juggling. You might have been having a very hard time juggling between uh, work and personal life here. But I feel like you found a proper balance now. Okay, you pro found a proper balance in your life. Okay, different aspects of your life. Then we also have the three of swords in reverse in your near future. Okay, this is your near future. So if this hasn't happened, this is happening in by the end of November for sure, Libra. Okay, some sort of clarity, emotional clarity, not mental clarity emotional clarity is coming to you that will help you feel more balanced in your life okay three of swords in reverse however i feel is self-deception okay three of swords we all know is the cheater card when it's upright okay but if you watched her you'd know that most probably but um, in reverse it's when our own when we hurt ourselves by our own actions okay when we drop the swords on our own foot basically okay when we basically stab ourselves, trying to stab someone else, almost that type of energy. But I don't feel like you're trying to stab someone else. You could have been like, you know, doing something for yourself to make things better. But instead of getting good, they go bad. Um, there are a lot of burdens, okay? You might be feeling like that you're putting a lot of work into something and you're not really getting equal effort back from someone. And that's what's uh, causing this three of swords in reverse here. Okay, could be a third person. You could like have, uh, how do I say, your person, you could have doubts that they are having feelings or emotions for someone else. Or it could be that you have feelings or emotions for someone and you're like trying to convince yourself that you don't almost. I don't know where that came from. That was a very random thing I just said, but it, it just naturally came through. Hmm. Could be a third party situation here. It could be that you're having trouble making decision between two people. But I'm getting that you are having trouble coming to terms with yourself. Hmm. I'm going to get some extra cards here, okay? Please clarify why the Three of Swords is in reverse here and why the Nine of Wands. Because see, Nine of Wands in reverse, okay? The High Priestess in reverse and the Ten of Wands, okay? That is basically, Libra, you feeling burdened. You feeling burdened. You feel like you're giving something to someone and they're not giving it back to you. It's like you feel that your emotions, your positivity, your openness, your 
you are trying to make something work, but you feel like that you are not getting the equal effort back from the other person here, okay? Um, and that's really leaving you disappointed, hurt, obviously, here, okay? Nine of Wands, you feel burdened. You feel like, yeah, I'm like, the, at the end of my stick, I almost want to give up on this. Like, I've put in so much work and it's just never working. It could be an on, on and off situation here because, like, it's like, your intuition tells you one thing, your head tells you one thing, but your reality, the actions of this person tells you a completely different story, okay? It's just not adding up. It's almost like it's not adding up, okay? The Ten of Wands is feeling burdened, okay? Feeling really burdened by this situation, okay? Wanting to give up. Sorry, I say okay a lot. The High Priestess in Reverse also shows me that you're not really paying attention to your intuition here, Libra. Okay, so um, if you feel like that your gut is telling you one thing, but then your emotions and your head is telling you another story, and then the reality is telling you a completely different story, if things aren't adding up, you are being advised to pay attention to your intuition, okay? Go with what the gut is telling you, because I feel that you might just be right, okay? I don't know what it's telling you, but I feel like there could very easily be another person involved now third party situations let me just clarify okay third party situations aren't always between two people three people it could be you and your partner and then work maybe you're dealing with someone who you know values work and their career more than they do you or they don't have this balance that you have because i feel like libra here with the two of pentacles in reverse and the page of cups you are coming to that balance in the end of November. You are finding that balance in your life, okay, in your individual life. You're finding a balance because you are doing, focusing more on what makes you happy. But this person doesn't have that balance for some reason. They don't know how to be consistent with their treatment of you. I don't know what else to say. Like the way they treat you is not consistent is what I'm always getting, right? You have, however, learned to focus on yourself here. Okay, you have learned to focus on, you know, balancing things out in your own life. Okay, paying more attention to your thoughts. But in the end of November, I am seeing some disappointment and some feeling a bit burdened by the situation still. Okay, let's see what your outcome will be. Okay, for the month of November 2020. End of November oh wow okay six of cups reconciliation someone from your past might be reaching out libra okay um apology though like i'm getting an apology very heavily i feel like in end of november there's an apology coming towards you i don't know who it is who is it from okay this could be your partner this could be a random person from your past but someone's coming to apologize okay and this will bring you more emotional balance, emotional clarity, like I mentioned earlier. So yeah, there's some reconciliation, some reunion happening here as well. I feel, but I honestly, I'm picking up, I'm not picking up reunion, really. I'm picking up apology. I'm feeling an apology. Because both these cards together. This is the way I read it, and I'm getting an apology coming to you end of November. Okay, let's see what we have from the Rebel deck. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I had to go grab this. Ooh, I put this on the couch um, after cleansing it. Okay, we've got, you need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. So meditate a little bit if you don't, okay? I'm not saying go full on yoga. I mean, if you want to go for it, but maybe take some time to just breathe, okay? And right now with what's going on in the world, we should be grateful that we have the ability to breathe, okay? So the next card is make better fucking choices, Libra. If you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. You know, actually, I was just saying this today to someone. Um... If you want different outcomes, change your approach. You can't be doing the same thing and then expecting a different outcome. Okay, I can't be mixing uh, blue and yellow together and not expect 
like you know when you mix the color blue with yellow you get the color green okay you if i keep doing that but let's say i want the color like another color i want like red or something then why am i mixing blue and yellow try a different approach because you're doing something wrong okay it's your choice okay make better choices for yourself i do feel like um this apology might bring you a choice as well so good luck to you libra whatever this is i know like you know like sometimes i do readings and i feel like this is not going to resonate with anyone at all because this reading feels like a lot of different messages there's some stuff from the past there's stuff about being like paying attention to yourself but then also being disappointed because of someone else's actions it's just like energy all over the place libra and just remember guys if this resonates please like and subscribe let's get an affirmation card for you mm -hmm. oh i got two but i'll take this one okay nature it's time to unleash your inner hippie and step outside of that man-made box take a walk in the woods smell those flowers hug some trees you might think you're being ironic like look at me i'm being all tree huggery and stuff but you'll find that even then those trees will hug you back trees come from a time before irony and their earnestness is impervious no impervious sorry you guys um, english is not my first language to our jaded humor if that doesn't make you want to hug them even more, well, I guess you're a robot. So don't be a robot. Go spend some time in nature. Take a time. I feel like you really need time by yourself, okay? Um, to get out of the house, do other activities. Like, not time by yourself, like just sit at home. Oh, I mean, by all means, do that if you enjoy that. But I feel you need to break out of your routine because, you know, all these different messages you know try a different approach do this do that like all these different messages are coming through for you libra so i feel like you need to do something out of your comfort zone okay so if you've been feeling a little like here and there it might be time to do step out of your comfort zone and try something new to find something that makes you happy okay so this is what i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed your reading please like and subscribe and i will see you next time